In my previous videos, I demonstrated how we can program Max 7219 8x8 dot matrix display and create an Arduino library that can be used to display text and numbers. In this video, Max 7219 8x32 display is programmed in C to show text and numbers. This circuit diagram shows the interfacing of the Max 7219 8x32 dot matrix module with the Arduino. The data in is connected to pin D2, chip select to D3, and clock to D4. As I mentioned in my previous videos, in order to program an 8x8 dot matrix display controlled by the Max 7219, we need to send two bytes. The first byte is the command byte, and the second byte is the data byte. The least significant nibble of the command byte determines which row will be selected from row 1 to 8. If this value here is 0, it means that the device is turned off. And the data here will then be displayed on the screen. To program an 8x32 module made of four devices, we need to send the command and data bytes four times. For example, if we want to display this byte value on row 7, device 4, then we need to send this 16-bit value. Next, we want to turn off devices 3, 2, and 1 by sending all zeros. As an example, let's say we want to program the devices with these four byte values. So to program device 4, first we need to send this 16-bit value. For device 3, we send this 16-bit value. For device 2, we send this value. And finally, device 1, we send this value. Before we go into the details of the sketch, we need to look at the functions used to display different characters on the module. We have function display letter, which has two arguments. The first argument is the digit uh, value. So this is digit 1, 2, 3, and 4. The second argument is an alphabet from A to Z, either capital or small. This next function, display symbol, again has two arguments. The first argument is the digit value. And the second argument between single quotation is a character representing a symbol, such as the equal sign, some mathematical sign, symbols, and so on. The third function is display number with decimal point. Again, two arguments. And the fourth function is display number without the decimal point. Within the C sketch, the first thing we do is to include this header file, max7219 data bytes, which contains the bytes needed to sketch different uh, characters on a digit of the module. So, for example, if we want to display the equal sign, then we use this uh, array of characters that contains 8 bytes needed to sketch that symbol on an 8x8 digit of the display. Inside the setter function, we call this function to initialize the 8x32 module. Inside function maximum 219 initialization, we set pins D2, D3, and D4 as output. And then we call this function write and send 8 bytes needed to put the decoding mode off for the four digits of the display. And then we send another 8 bytes so that we set the brightness level. And then we said send another 8 bytes so that the scan limit is all digits on. And finally we send this uh, 8 bytes so that we turn on the max 7219 module. Inside function write we receive the 8 bytes and then we set uh, pin chip select to low and then we send the first uh, 16 bits in order to program digit 4. We are sending the command and data bytes for digit 4. And then we send the next 16 bits to program digit 3. 
and then we program digit 2 and then digit 1 and then we put the chip select to high. To send the byte to the MAC7219 module we are calling this function SPI send. Inside function SPI send and using this for loop to loop 8 times within the loop we are first uh, putting the clock pulse to low and then we are outputting 1 on the uh, data line if the most significant bit of the byte is uh, 1 otherwise we are outputting 0 and then we put the clock high and then we shift the byte to the left by 1 so that we have access to the next most significant bit and the process is repeated until all the 8 bits have been shifted out back inside the setup function and after we initialize the module we call this function to clear the 4 digit display inside function max7219 clear and using this for loop to loop 8 times and calling function write to send all zeros in order to clear all the 4 digits of the display inside the loop function we call this function display letter in order to sketch small letter G on digit 1 of the module inside function display letter we receive the digit at which we want to sketch the character and then we receive the array of characters and based on the chosen digit we sketch the character either on digit 1 or digit 2 or digit 3 or digit 4 back inside the loop function next we execute this function display symbol which will display the equal sign within single quotation on digit 2 inside function display symbol we receive the digit and the symbol character and based on the input digit and the input symbol using this nested uh, switch statement we can display that uh, character on the selected digit back inside the loop function function display number with decimal point will display on digit 3 the digit 9 with a decimal point inside function display number with decimal point we receive the digit value and the number to be displayed from 0 to 9 and based on the digit and the number and using a nested switch we can display that number or with a decimal point on the selected digit finally back inside the loop function function display number will display this uh, value on digit 4 of the module In my next video, I will create an Arduino library for the 4-digit max7219.metrics display. Thank you for watching.